What's up folks, back with another gaming playthrough, and this time we're going to play a Genesis, or Mega Drive game, the original Golden Axe, which is sort of a sword and sorcery, fantasy, beat-em-up, sword hacking type of game. Um, it is pretty atmospheric, and it gets harder as the game goes on. Indeed, back in the day, I beat this a number of times, but I also had some playthroughs where I didn't beat it. I usually would get to the last level, and then I'd just run out of lives, because uh, the last level, you have to fight a number of, like, boss battles where there's multiple bosses, and if you're playing by yourself, it's just tough. Uh, nevertheless, um, I have beaten the game before. I don't expect to beat it on this playthrough. Now, granted, I could use save states, but um, for the time being, I'm going to try to do these playthroughs, and, you know, just old school, saving, you know, at the points that it lets you save, and in case of a game like this, you know, it's like a one-shot. Like, you know, you get to the end of the level, if you continue, I think you start at the same level, but after you run out of continues, that's it. It's not like, you know, there's no save states where like in the game itself i mean so bottom line uh we'll see what happens i don't expect to beat it but it is a very atmospheric game and you know ultimately i think it's a good time um i play as the dwarf character usually so yeah bottom line as you notice it's not full screen because i for whatever reason the fusion which is the sega related emulator i have it's really good and it does all different sega systems including like sega cd and some other things but um if you put it into full screen view it the screen recorder I have, it like suddenly like reformats it as like a very small little shot. So this is the, the maximum size I can get it. Nevertheless, let's start it. This is the original Golden Axe on Genesis. Yeah, so it just said one of the hero's mother was uh, killed by Death Adder, which is the... You think it's the main villain. It turns out not to be. Oh yeah, we're getting maximum life meter. God, just wait till we get to the end. If I can beat the game, that track is just hilarious. Alright, let's go, my man. It's essentially like a Gimli character. Oh, wait, what? I didn't skip that, it just went. But apparently I lost my buddy in battle to Death Adder. Oh yeah. How do I run? Oh, that's right, it's like you double hit it. Oh. Everyone's playing ice hockey out here, like, body checking. Can't let him get on both sides of you like that. Get the hell out of here. Man, such violence. Why can't we just talk about these things, guys? And so, I'm bullying, like, little gnomes to get magic. And now I'm trying to fight on top of an Amazon... ...bird dinosaur. I'm a Rammy with a beak, bro. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I need that magic, though. Whopper. Oh, come on. What was that? Get the hell off, my man. There we go. I want a beak kill. Yeah, take some beak. Oh, that got dark quick. Oh, this music is good. Ouch. Oof. That did not feel good. Donk. Wow. 
Well, shouldn't it hurt me, too, if it's doing the same thing it is to them? Oh, wow. And then I just camped out with my hand, like, holding up my head like that. That's it? So why did the gnome come bother me if he knows I'm just gonna hit him with my axe? Kinetic percussive. Wait, wait, what? My guy had a change of heart? Like. I gotta be better. I can't be losing lives on little ninnies like this. There are much bigger fish coming. What? Oh. Finally pulled one of those. The red one is even better because it shoots a projectile. Oh, fuck. Get away from my dragon. I am really harsh on these gnomes. Burning them, smacking them. Yeah, whatever it is. That's the dragon you want. Whoa, 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 chill. That's what I thought. Do I get to keep my dragon? No? Hey! What the hell, bro? You need the green. I need that food, man. Glutton for punishment, that guy. Right, because that makes sense. You want to build a village, do it on the back of a giant turtle. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Later, buddy. <laughs> oh, this is one of the knights. The first time you fight one of the knights, here they come, man. This is where the game starts to get real. Here they come. Oh, it's not a knight. It's one of these bitches. I know it's boring, but... Dude, why won't you die? Oh, I shouldn't do... I should activate this part first, and 
leave him on the ground, yeah. Basically that backward roll is the best way to kill him, but it doesn't help when he has friends still. They make it more difficult. What is wrong with the throw? I like how everyone has this ear-quenching yell when they die. Catch you with a, a combo. It really messes you up. So where are the lungs that they're screaming with? Ow. chimney? He got sued all over you? What's going on? No, I was planning on staying there. Good my chances are of beating it now. Come on. Alright, that's it. Thank you. So I'm sleeping on a bird's back now? Is that what I'm
Ja. Oh, go to hell. The, like, lots of falling in this part. I hate you, game. I do remember dying a lot in this part. Ugh. That's the cheapest placement of one of those. Hey, it's your fault. You attacked me with a dragon, girl. Don't be mad at me. attack is the safest because it leaves you the least vulnerable to the other guys. But at least it's real in the sense that you get attacked by everyone all at once. Like some, you know, some action movies it's like people with swords take turns. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, that's what we need. We need you to both line up like that. Keep lining up like that. Woof. I heard that. can't use it yet because we got big fish coming out of that door. Bigger than this guy even. Oh, come on with this guy's ruthless jump kicks, man. Bruce Lee would be proud. like the music a lot. have to go, but I think they keep coming back, that's the worst part about it. Do not get hit by that axe, oh come on man.
Uh, sure. Yes, my lord. Heal that stomach wound of yours. That guy just literally just walked off, says, no, nope, I'm over this. I knew that was gonna happen. The perfect range. Fuck you guys. Get the hell out of here. Yes. And you get the fuck off of here too. Uh, that would- Bro, I love that this has been recorded for posterity. Give me that. Oh, fuck. people are coming down. Those are not statues as you might think. Get the hell out of here. Oh man. Nope, you're not gonna get one on each side of me. does come on the backside, then I'm gonna have to try to roll him off. He's gonna walk off himself. Alright. Not a good start, and he does that. Hilarious. But yeah, what, you killed me twice? so harsh. It's the theme song. Just these- I don't even think these skeletons ever actually die. Oh, fuck off, bro! Luca is now, like, taking a great interest in what's happening on the screen, just to add to the drama here. I still have another continue, though, right? I think I got this. friends helping you is a pretty cheap thing.
Oh yeah. Trouble. Boom. Now they'll be able to live on top of turtles and eagles and all sorts of giant animals. Oh, the Grand Master, huh? All right. Well, guardians, plural. Who the fuck helped me? I didn't see anyone helping me. Also, your kicking of elves and gnomes and all sorts of tomfoolery. Oh, man. Get ready for that end credit music that I was telling you about. Music to go mad by. Thanks for giving us their profile dimensions. Oh, damn. Henninger Bronze. He's been packing on the weight. This seems bizarrely specific. And why do the Dark Ones have no weight? Their shadows, their spirits? Storchnaya. Strobaya. Admit it, like, this music is gonna plague the rest of your life. Like, anytime you're bored or feeling a bit down, you can just think of this and go crazy. Sergeant Malt and Sergeant Hop, Colonel Bitter. I see what we're doing here. Big guys are 8'3 and they wear thongs. General Heartland. Not much of a specialty, fair to say. So there's a company that makes dragon saddles? Belongings pot? Oh shit, that's what I was getting off in? Alright, you're telling us the villagers- oh wow, she weighs more than he does? And he's 3'7"? 3'7"? Uh, he's only in the, like, beginner game. We didn't actually fight the junior. So he's still running around in a thong somewhere. Yeah, also uses a whole bunch of magic. And it's apparently, like, Sir Strong from the... Fire and Ice, or, you know, Game of Thrones novels. 
I was Gilius Thunderhead. All right, fair enough. I should have been Tyrus Flair. She looking good. Yeah, whatever. You're not gonna tell me their weight and their height. And is the king still just sitting there? I mean, the ending is longer than the game. to a monkey. the, uh, what is it, Revenge? I think it's Revenge of Shinobi, which is, I think, the second one on the Genesis. That one's dope. So the message here is thongs, male and female. So what is that? Oh. So where does that rank me? Oh, fuck, I got a B? All right. I guess I'll take a B. I mean, it's a passing grade. Still, though. A little bit higher would be nicer. But hey, we'll come back, I guess. But yeah, there you go. So that's Golden Axe uh, for the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive. Let me know what you think. I've enjoyed doing these video game playthroughs already. I've only done a few at this point, but it is fun. And it seems like maybe there will be some people who will be interested. So my plan at this point is definitely to do like a Chrono Trigger playthrough. Chrono Trigger is, you know... One of my very favorite games of all time, so that definitely has to happen. There's some role-playing games on Genesis I'd like to do also, like the Shining Force games. Also the Fantasy Star games, which start on the Sega Master System and then go to the Genesis. So, lots of plans. Um, you know, obviously I'm going to keep doing more reactions and gaming videos, but I am keen to do, start doing some of these. So I'm going to try to get a few of them up on um, YouTube in the next week or so, and then we'll go from there. So, in any case, let me know what you think of this one, and I will see you next time. Peace.